Have you ever felt a sudden unexplainable warmth? Heard a comforting melody out of thin air? Or perhaps witnessed a fleeting shimmer of light? These experiences, while seemingly random, could be whispers from the divine, signs that angels are present in your home. Throughout history, the existence of angels has captivated humanity. From the celestial beings guarding the gates of Eden, Genesis 3:24, to the powerful archangels like Michael and Gabriel, Daniel 12:7, the Bible paints a vivid picture of these heavenly messengers. But are angels mere characters in a sacred text, or can their presence be felt in our everyday lives? For Christians, angels are more than just ethereal figures. They are real, powerful beings entrusted by God to watch over us, guide us, and protect us. The Bible is filled with accounts of angelic intervention. In Psalm 91:11, we find the promise, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Similarly, Hebrews 1:14 declares, are not all angels ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation? Angels are not meant to be worshipped, they are God's instruments, working tirelessly to fulfill his will. So, how do we recognize their presence? While angelic appearances in human form are rare, there are subtle signs that angels might be watching over your home and offering guidance. Here are some ways to tune into the celestial energy surrounding you. Unexplained feelings of peace and comfort. Have you ever entered a room and felt an immediate sense of calm, even if the situation beforehand was stressful? This could be an angel's presence bringing tranquility to your space. Sudden warmth or chills. A shift in temperature with no logical explanation can be a sign of an angel's presence. A feeling of warmth can signify comfort and protection, while chills might indicate a powerful angelic being nearby. Lights and flickering. Have you noticed unusual flashes of light or electronics malfunctioning briefly? While it's important to rule out technical issues first, some believe these flickering lights could be angelic communication. Meaningful dreams and visions. Vivid dreams with symbolic messages or a sense of encountering a divine being in a vision could be angelic guidance. Pay close attention to the emotions and imagery in your dreams, as they might hold hidden messages. Songs and melodies. Hearing beautiful music out of thin air, especially during times of prayer or meditation, could be an angelic message of comfort or a gentle nudge in the right direction. Feathers. Finding white feathers in unexpected places is a common sign associated with angels. While it doesn't guarantee an angel's presence, feathers can be a symbol of hope, peace, and reassurance from the divine. Intuition and inner knowing. Sometimes, the most powerful sign is a deep sense within you that you're not alone. A sudden feeling of knowingness or a nudge towards a specific course of action could be angelic guidance. It's important to remember that these signs are open to interpretation. They can be subjective experiences, and not every unusual occurrence signifies the presence of an angel. However, if you find yourself repeatedly experiencing these phenomena, it might be a call to pay closer attention to your intuition and what these signs might be trying to tell you. The Bible offers a clear standard when encountering angels. In Judges 6, Gideon encounters the angel Gabriel. Initially afraid, Gideon asks, Pardon me, my Lord, but if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? Judges 6:13. The angel's response is instructive. Peace be with you. Do not be afraid. You are not going to die, Judges 6:23. Angels come not to terrify, but to offer comfort, guidance, and protection. If you experience a sign, approach it with an open heart and a sense of peace, remembering God's love and the presence of his angels. Why angels deserve reverence, not worship. While the presence of angels can be a source of comfort and guidance, it's crucial to remember their place within the Christian faith. They are powerful beings, yes, but they are not objects of worship. The Bible is clear that all worship and adoration belong solely to God. Here's why Christians should focus their devotion on the divine. The Bible establishes God as the ultimate authority and the source of all creation. Colossians 1:16 proclaims, For by him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. Angels, while powerful, are part of God's creation. Worshipping them diminishes the glory that belongs solely to the Creator. Monotheism, the belief in one God, is a cornerstone of Christianity. The first commandment in Exodus 23 states, You shall have no other gods before me. This is a clear directive that prohibits worshipping any being besides God. Angels, as magnificent as they may be, don't hold the same power and authority as the one true God. The Bible presents instances where angels explicitly refuse worship. In the book of Revelation, John the Apostle falls down to worship an angel, but the angel rebukes him, 
saying, You must not do that. I am a fellow servant with you and your brothers the prophets, and with those who keep the words of this book. Worship God. Revelation 19.10 This encounter highlights the proper order, worship flows upwards to God, not to his celestial messengers. The core of Christianity lies in understanding God's grace and love for humanity. By worshiping angels, we shift our focus away from the very source of salvation, God's sacrifice through Jesus Christ. Angels act as instruments of God's will, but they are not the source of redemption. This doesn't mean Christians can't hold angels in high regard. The Bible describes them as awe-inspiring beings worthy of respect. We can appreciate their role as God's messengers and guardians. However, this respect should never morph into worship. Strengthening your relationship with God. Here are some ways to deepen your connection with God and ensure your focus remains on Him. Regular communication with God through prayer is vital. Express gratitude, confess your shortcomings, and seek guidance. The Bible is God's Word, offering insights into His character and will. Spend time studying Scripture to understand Him better. Strive to emulate Jesus' teachings, love, forgiveness, and compassion. Walking in His footsteps is a way to honor God. Participating in Christian worship services and fostering fellowship with other believers strengthens your faith and connection to God. The concept of angels, celestial beings watching over us, offers a comforting presence. As Christians, it's crucial to remember that angels, while awe-inspiring, are not the ultimate source of comfort and guidance. That role belongs solely to God, our merciful Father, Leader, and Protector. God's unwavering mercy. The Bible repeatedly emphasizes God's boundless mercy. In Psalm 103.8, we find a beautiful description, The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. His mercy doesn't depend on our actions, it's a gift offered freely. When we stumble and fall, God's mercy provides forgiveness and a chance to start anew. Throughout Scripture, God is portrayed as a loving Father. Jesus himself often referred to God as Father, highlighting a close, personal relationship available to all believers. Malachi 2.10 declares, have we not all one Father? Has not one God created us? God doesn't judge us harshly like a distant ruler, He offers the unconditional love and support of a Father. Life can be a complex journey with its share of challenges. But Christians are not alone, God is our leader. 32-8 assures us, I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go, I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Through prayer, scripture, and the guidance of the Holy Spirit, God helps us navigate life's uncertainties and make choices that align with His will. Facing difficulties can be daunting, but God's protective hand shelters us. 91 to 4 states, He will cover you with His pinions, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. God doesn't shield us from all hardships, but He grants us the strength and resilience to face them with courage and faith. Understanding God's multifaceted nature, merciful Father, guiding leader, and ever-present protector, compels us to draw closer to Him. By nurturing your relationship with God, you'll discover a wellspring of love, guidance, and protection that surpasses any earthly comfort. Angels may offer a glimpse of the divine, but it's in God's presence that we find true fulfillment and the unwavering love that shapes our lives. Ultimately, the most important takeaway is this, you are not alone. Angels, God's celestial messengers, are constantly surrounding us, offering comfort, guidance, and protection. By being open to the subtle signs around you and trusting your intuition, you can deepen your connection with the divine and experience the joy of angelic presence in your life. Make sure to subscribe to the King's Gate YouTube channel now. Just click on the subscribe button below this video.